Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions for TCS Digital Upgrade Exam. Now, what is this upgrade exam? So, guys, those of you who are 2023 batch pass out have and have received the ninja offer from TCS. So now TCS have organized an exam that will be happening on 22nd March 2023. In this you have a chance for upgrading your ninja offer to your digital offer so previous years also from past two to three years also these type of exams are happening in tcs so in this particular video what i'll be doing i will be discussing those previous year coding questions which were asked in these type of exams okay so therefore it is for uh, it is an upgrade exam from tcs ninja to tcs digital okay so make sure that you are watching this video in the end because i will be discussing the questions which are actually asked in the previous years in this exam so make sure that you watch this video till the end and guys do hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for, for this video because more and more videos I will continue to post in the coming days. So make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button and you are present on my channel. Do comment also that what type of videos you want to see and what type of questions, what type of topics I can make on this channel regarding these topics. Okay. And again, there, uh, there have been one or two telegram groups of mine. I will give you the link in the description box. Make sure to join them. So guys, now let's start, start this video and before starting the video, please hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this video. Guys, let's just quickly discuss about the next level by an academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform wherein you play coding competitions among your friends and random app users. Based on these coding competitions, you are given a professional rating and based on your rating, different different jobs on this platform get unlocked. Guys, next level is organizing a league that will happen on 11th March 2023. It is a one day competition wherein you can play multiple coding com competitions on the same day and based on your performance or rank on that day, different different prizes will be given to you. For example, first, win, uh, first rank will get Apple MacBook Pro, second will get Apple iPad Air, third will get Amazon Kindle Paperwhite and up to 100 candidates based on their performance will get Amazon vouchers Okay, of different different prizes. So this will happen on 11th March 2023. Guys, next level seasons have already started. The seasons are monthly competitions and based on your performance on that month, you will be given a rank and based on the rank, you are allotted different different prizes like MacBook Air, Apple iPad Mini and Amazon Kindle. So these are the winners from the February season. The March season has already started. So make sure that you are going now and downloading the app and taking part in this March season so that you can also get the chances for winning these prizes. Guys, next level has introduced a feature of power-ups wherein when you lose a game, you can use power-ups to restore your rating to the original one. You can earn power-ups by inviting your friend. So guys, go, the links are in the description box, download the app and play coding competitions and get placed. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be we will be discussing the question. Then we will be discussing the approach of that question, and finally we will be writing the code for this particular question. So let's just start by reading the question first, and let's understand what the question is saying. So for uh, question is write a program to find the sum of all characters and all possible contiguous character combinations from the given string. Consider the string s1 equivalent to 321. This is in the string format, not in the integer format. Okay, string is given as an input. And that string will contain uh, the numbers okay all characters and combination of contiguous characters from the above string are 3 2 1 3 2 2 1 3 2 1 and adding all these numbers will give us 380 as the result and 380 is the result that we will have to return so let's just understand this question in a simple way what it is saying you will be given a string that will be containing number in this case 321 is the string that is given to us now what will have, we have to do we will have to do we will have to find all the possible contiguous combinations okay so in simple words we will have to find all the substrings that are present in this string okay what are the substrings which are present in this string it is 3 2 it is 1 also uh, 32 21 and 321 so what we have done we have find all the substrings that are present in this string and we'll simply add their value in integer so 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 32 plus 21 plus 321 it will give us 380 as our answer so you can see all the combinations 3 2 1 32 21 321 these are the same as, as these so in simple words a string will be given to us we will have to find the substring all the substrings of that string and we will have to add the values of all the substrings okay so let's just understand some more things and then we'll go towards the approach and the code okay so there are some instructions that are given the system does not allow any kind of hard-coded input values okay 
the written program code by the candidate will be verified against the input that are supplied from the system so these are the previous year questions so i have directly copied entire thing so these instructions as of now for this video are not valuable but it will be very much valuable in the actual exam okay so let's just skip this part next are the constraints okay constraints are the input string contains only integer number without any spaces as i have told you we will be given a string that will contain only numbers okay next is constraint is the length of the input string will be less than 5 okay so it will be less than 5 only the length of the string as 321 what is the length of the string it is 3 so input string will be given to us as a uh, input uh, length of less than 5 okay let's just see the examples for getting better understanding so 321 will be our input as a string okay and what what will be our output output will output will be an integer that will be the sum of all the substrings that can be formed from this string again i have told you 321 how we can break it and how we can add it so above in the above uh, question it is given the answer of 321 will be 380 now let's just see the another example another example is 12 this 12 is taken as input as a string and we will have to return the sum of all the substrings of this 12 as a integer this is how we have, will have to return so uh, what are the substrings of 12 it is given so 1 is there 2 is there and 12 is there so what is the sum of 1 2 12 it will be 15 so this is our integer value that we will have to return which we have to give as output in our code so i hope now the entire question is clear to you it is simple a uh, string will be given to us as an input which will contain only only numbers and we will have to find all the substrings of that input string and we will simply have to add the values of that substring okay and we will have to return the sum of those so it is simple so let us quickly discuss the approach of this question we do not have to do anything in the approach approach is very simple okay approach is very simple what is the approach we are given a string 381 what we will do we will find all the substrings we will find oh sorry it is 321 we will find all the substrings that will be 3 2 1 32 21 321 and we will simply have to add their integer values and print it now how we will uh, find all the substrings let me ju just quickly jump towards the code because it will be very easy for you to understand via code that how we will be able to uh, how we will be able to generate all the substrings from this particular input string okay so i hope now the question and the approach is clear to you if you still have doubts let's just quickly jump towards the code so that it will become easy for you to find out how we can generate all the substrings and how we can uh, make uh, calculate the sum of those substrings and return an answer so let's just quickly jump towards the coding part and guys if you have not liked the video or subscribed the video till now please subscribe it because more such videos i will be coming in future so don't miss any of those because the exam is near just two or three weeks of time is remaining so make sure to hit that subscribe button so let's move towards the coding part okay so guys for saving your time i have already written the code now what i will do i will read the code one by one so that you can understand what we are doing in the code and how we will be giving our output okay so first of all we are we will be taking string str okay first of all the main important things are the library in this particular code that is hash include bit slash stdc plus plus dot h i am doing the code in c plus plus but you are free to choose any language based on your preference so this library is very important it contains many inbuilt functions that we are using in this code so make sure that you are uh, including this particular library okay uh, okay so first of all we are taking string str as input okay then we are taking a variable called answer now this variable will contain the sum of the substrings that is what we were returning in the end we were returning 321 oh sorry we were returning 380 so this is stored in a variable okay so we have taken this variable as answer and we have initialized it with zero now what we'll have to do as you remember that we will have to find all the substrings in the input string we will have to find all the substrings in the input string for finding all the substrings we have this particular loop we have used uh, for this purpose the nested loop will be used that is outer loop will be starting from zero till str.length and inner loop will be starting from i till str.length now see for finding a substring what we require we require a starting position and an ending position so this is a inbuilt function as sub str is a inbuilt function to find the substring so now what we to find a substring a particular substring what we will do we will use str dot sub str okay we will uh, in this we will give the starting position that is from which index our substring should should start and we then we will give the length of the substring that is what should be the length of that substring 
for example if we are giving our i equal to 0 and our j uh, length is equal to 1 so i equal to 0 and our uh, length equal to 1 for a string of uh, for this string string is equal to 321 so for i equal to 0 length equal to 1 so a substring will be starting from 0th index and it will go till length 1 that is 3 it will return only 3 so the substring here will be 3 only so to find the current substring we are giving the starting position as i and then the length of the string that is j minus i plus 1 so now it will give us the current substring okay so now what we'll do this substring is again in the format of string but in the answer variable we will have to add our integer so now we will have to convert this string into integer so for that purpose we are using an, another inbuilt function that is sgoi that is string to integer conversion so in this particular function if we we'll pass our string it will return our it will return an integer so and that particular integer value we will simply store in the answer variable so answer is equal to answer plus sg of i so this was for the current substring so we will have to find all the substrings that are present in the input string therefore this loop is handy so to find all the substrings of the current uh, current string and every substring will be converted into an integer and it will be added in our answer variable and in the end what we'll do outside the loop after we have find all the substring and after we have added all the values of substring in the answer variable then we'll simply print c out answer okay again i am using c plus plus as the coding language but you are free to choose any language based on your preference so this was the entire code let's just run some test cases okay so here custom input is 12 we know for custom input as 12 our answer should be 15 so let's just run it and let's just see what will be our output okay so it's taking a time till then feel free to like this video and subscribe the channel let's just see what is the answer so you can see output is coming as 15 let's just take another input that is 321 and its output should be but it should be it should be 380 so again if you have not subscribed until now please subscribe it and do hit that like button and do join the telegram groups and guys the next level app i have told you earlier in this video do download that app it is the best app currently that can uh, that can give you jobs okay so links will find in the description box so here you can see that 321 as input and our 380 as answer so this particular code is passing all the test cases that are given to us as a public test cases so it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so guys thank you for watching this video and again download the next level app the links are in the description box